We are in Philadelphia, AKA the city of brotherly love. Uh, it's also probably one of the most historic cities in our country. And uh, I think it's a foundation for what we're about to talk about today, which is faith, God, religion, something that you and I disagree on. Right, it's the primary topic that we disagree on. But we're gonna go around the city today, find out if people believe in God, why they believe in God, and what God they believe in. So I think it's gonna be like 80, 20 people believe in God, 80% uh, people believe in God, 20% they don't. What do you think? I think it's going to be pretty, uh, a, a split, man. I think a lot of people uh, have some type of faith, um, specifically towards a divine uh, being. Um, but I also think that people sometimes want to keep that private. Uh, so we will see, but I think it's going to be a pretty even split. We'll see what that looks like. You got a minute where I can ask you a question or two? What's your name? Marcel. Marcel? Yeah. I'm Josh. Nice Josh to meet you, man. Yeah. Are you from here? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. You a Sixers fan? Uh, yeah. I'm sorry, man. No, I'm like, it's all good. You got some hope. It's all good. This is Marcel. What's this is my on? friend Wes. Wes. Yes, sir. Do you believe in God? I do. What oh, God? Do. What God do you believe in? Uh, the, the Father of Jesus Christ. Okay. Why do you believe in God? I've experienced uh, His presence and His goodness, and, and how I know that is through the text of the, the Bible and um, just the um, accuracy in. in and what the, uh, what the characteristics of who he is and who he's been said to be, I've experienced that. And I haven't always my whole life, so I know the difference from not experiencing it to experiencing it. Do you feel divided from me? No. Oh. Do you, um, because I believe in God, uh, I don't uh, believe in Christianity. Okay. Um, do you believe I'm going to hell? Um, I don't, I, it's not my judgment, honestly. I, I think that there's opportunity for you to be um, accepted in his, or not even accepted, because I know that's kind of a touchy word, but I just know his grace is um, limitless. So at any time in your existence in this form, you would be able to uh, experience his eternal uh, peace and happiness. So. Because I feel, I mean, I mean this in the, the sense of the humanity. Like, I, I feel love for you. Amen. I, I have no problem ever sitting down for a meal with you. Yeah, awesome. uh, does that, do you struggle with that with me? No, I, I think that's, I, I know we don't, I've been that when I was living in the world and I've had love for people and it wasn't, it wasn't credited to God. So I just see that as an example of God's love through you or, or the seed being planted in you and however, whether it's parents praying, whether it's friends praying. And um, honestly, I just I think that's amazing that, that you have that in you, and that's an example of God's love. This like is a, a it's a Christian conference. Yeah, yeah. That's, what we just heard. that's crazy. No, so oh! I just gonna... literally thought you guys were a part of it when I'm walking no. up. I'm like, okay, because everybody's because I know this is a nationwide thing, so I'm like, all right, people from different nations. Nice to meet you. Hope you guys stay here. Uh, if you want. Oh, thank you. What is your name? Paul. Paul. Uh, I'm Josh, this is Wes. Um, so, question is, uh, do you have a faith? Do you believe in yes. God? Okay. Yes, I believe. Okay. What, what is... God do you believe in? Uh, Catholic one, so the Jesus Christ. All right. Okay, yeah. why? Why? Because this is the way how I was uh, brought up, right? And I have no, right, no reason to not believe in God, right? So I've seen a sign in my life uh, that proved me, like one, two, three, those are three signs, right? Yeah. It's something like, my wife couldn't have children, right? And uh, I have three kids, so. Okay. Wow. Do, do you uh, do you believe that um, uh, that faith or God or religion even um, divides us as as humans? I was going to ask specifically, like in the in our in the U.S. Like, uh, do you think faith looking in from a, as a, I don't know as another country when you look in the United States, do you think faith or God? I don't think that faith divides people. I think that people divide people. Mm -hmm. right? so the way they yeah. interpret uh, the faith and how they tell people to interpret the faith, this is what divides people. Yeah. Right? If, you, if you take, for example, uh, Muslims right? the, or, or the Buddhism, there is nothing wrong with the faith. But the way people are being explained how to do, how to be, believe, right? this is what creates all those different issues that we have around the world. Mm. I love that. I love that. What, what would you say uh, are some things that we can do uh, as a country um, uh, and as people um, to help bridge that, help close that that gap um, I, I and make us united? I think everything is related to education, right? Because uh, 
like for example right now we are in, at the brink of artificial intelligence right and mm. it's, majority of people don't don't believe in artificial intelligence because they do not understand it and ai will be is or already is like 10 20 times smarter than we are in a couple of months it will be like hundreds thousands of billions times smarter than us right so it will be like on a different level so it will coexist with us we will not understand it right and the same happens with god so the more we educate people the more they make their decisions on their own will and uh, their intelligence, right, the better they are and uh, we can avoid uh, those different kinds of uh, radicalism that is getting populated for the fact that simply what you are getting is uh, people who do not have like a guidance internally because they were told to because they were not smart enough to do this. Yeah. They are going the, the way that others who are smart and have their particular purpose do. I, I'm also a person of science, right? So. From a probability perspective, we are not so. Earth is not unique in the universe, right? So definitely, there are thousands of planets where which can be inhabited, right? So if you think that AI has has the consciousness, then people have consciousness, right? AI coexists with us, ants coexist with us, right? We are thousands of times smarter than ants, and we don't care about them, right? The same will happen with AI, and the same maybe with the aliens or any other. Uh, alien, alien race that is out there, right? They, they may not be able to communicate with us. We don't know it, but probability and... People are saying we're divided, but we need to define what division means because there's a lot of unity that we're seeing so far. Yeah, I think, uh, I think yeah, I think we have to, we have to define uh, the word divided. Um, I do agree that there have been, um, there are a lot more people um, that, at least in our polls, that are communicating some sense of willingness to engage in conversation. Um, and I think that whether it be the media, whether it be social media, um, takes the radicals on both sides and pins them against each other as if that's the majority of the country. And, and so I think there is some truth to there is unity there's there. I think, again, it goes down to, to, to defining um, what division is and how we're going to define it. I, I, I think that the, the Polish family, um, Paul, specifically addressed it. You know, it, what it comes down to, it's just people. Right. Um, and in, individuals. And so uh, I'm, in, I'm, I'm encouraged um, by the conversations we've had today. Uh, and and I'm, I'm hopeful, to be quite honest with you. A lot of the division we have is a construct and not an organic division. Yeah, I think that the the idea of social media um, can be both good and bad. Uh, I think there are things there that are, that can connect us, and then I think there are, there's things there that actually are put into place to divide us. Um, there's nothing that's ever going to beat uh, a hug and a, and a handshake and a and a conversation face to face. Um, but I think that things on social media um, and the news and the news specifically media in general. Um, there's someone at the top trying to pull the strings and get us to further uh, to play off the idea, um, to further exaggerate said beliefs, to further exaggerate conspiracies, to further exaggerate different things. And they want us, it seems, as if to think that we're divided more than we may actually be.